Today we are going to go over the crossband repeat function of the 578. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is a mode that will allow you to have the radio on one band, like two meters, and have it output to another band, like 70 centimeter or 440. You cannot have it on the same band on both VFOs. Uh, it has to be on separate bands on each VFO. So VFO A has to be on one band and VFO B has to be on a separate band. This is great for, let's say you've got uh, somebody who's on a radio that you're trying to allow people to talk with different mixtures of radios. So you can program the radios where they can receive on, let's say, 70 centimeters, but they transmit on two meters and vice versa. I actually pre-programmed both of my Anytones, my handhelds for this, and I will show you the programming for that as well and what you need to set up on your 578. Real quick, here is what the screen on the 578 looks like right now. Let me switch over to it. I tried to get the screen darkness down enough to be able to show everything clearly, but it's still blurring. So I think it's just the camera. But you can see I've got channel A programmed in a zone called repeater and channel B programmed in a zone called repeater. And they're both analog frequencies. Uh, channel A is 2 meters and channel B is 70 centimeters or 440. Now, in the radio setup, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our code plug software, our CPS for the 578. And we're going to pre-assign one of the panel keys, either P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, or P6, the command repeater. And when we press that, it'll put it into crossband repeat mode. So whenever we transmit on either channel A or channel B, it'll output to the corresponding opposite channel. So let's pull up the CPS software. Let me go ahead and get back to me here. Okay. So share screen. And here is the 578 software. Uh, let's do screen one. All right. And here's the 578 software. This is the code plug that's currently in the 578. And you'll see that I have channel A programmed is 146.52. And channel B programmed is 446.52. Now, in here, it's high power, 25 kilohertz. You want to make sure you're on the correct bandwidth for the channel. And then um, DMR mode won't matter because we're not in DMR. So you just click OK. And on this one, this is the 446.52. So we've got that right there as well. Same thing. Then we come over to zone. And we put both channels in a zone. That way we can have our um, channel A on VFO A and channel B on VFO B. All right. Now, optional settings. Uh, we're going to come in here. We're going to go to key function. And I set short key press to P2 and set it for repeater, which is just above speaker mode in the drop down. Um, so you've got to go almost all the way down. It is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12th one from the very bottom of that list. So select repeater. And then you're going to want to have your main channel switch programmed so you can switch between the VFOs. And then what I did is I pre-programmed channels. Um, you can set a VFO that is uh, manually set to allow you to program the channels in via the keypad on each one and then do the repeater uh, crossband repeat function. Um, that is an option. Uh, I just thought this was simpler to be able to explain it. But there's that. That's what's on the radio right now. And then here is the code plug for one of the uh, 878s. And you'll see I've got the channels programmed in as channel 1, channel 2. But this time, instead of it being simplex, I've got channel 1 programmed 
to transmit on 446.52 and receive on 446.52. And channel two is the opposite. So if you have two different radios, but you've got the same uh, code plug for both radios, you can have one on channel one, one on channel two. And it'll still work just the same. So I put them in a zone called 578 repeater, wrote that to the radios. And then uh, from there, we can cut back to... Stop share. We'll go back to the other camera or the radio. And now that everything is programmed into the CPS, actually, Eric, that is a valid point that it would work uh, great for satellites that are using the two different ones. Um, so when I press P2, we're going to see the word R-E-P-T uh, pop up. Repeater on. And you'll notice that our Bluetooth turned off. You cannot use Bluetooth with crossband repeat. It will turn off your Bluetooth. That's why you cannot program a button on your uh, 578's BTO1 for repeat on or off. So Bluetooth will not work. So we've got that programmed. So now uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn on both 878s. And one of them is programmed for um, or already set up on channel one and the other is on channel two. So when I talk on one, it'll come across the other. And we'll see the TX and the repeat or receive come across. So W9JM testing. And we saw the TX come in on channel A and it repeated back out on channel B. All right. Now the other radio, I just turned it on and you'll be able to hear this. W9JM testing. You'll notice that they switch places on the separate radios now. So it said transmit on channel B and receive on channel A. So it works both ways. It can transmit and repeat whichever frequency it comes in on. So um, the other thing you can do with this is if you have DMR radios, uh, you can actually set a uh, time slot on slot one on one and slot two on the other and have it transmit on slot one and receive on slot two on a different radio. So it'll work like that as well. Um, Now, you'll see we've got two antenna icons here. You'll notice we get a yellow light instead of a, a blue or green light like we usually get when it's doing crossband repeat. W9JM testing, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that or not, but it does key up the other 578, or 878, excuse me. Uh, let's switch back to the primary camera. Okay. So... That's on channel one. And then this one, if I can get it the angle correctly. You'll see it keys up regardless. So you can transmit on either one of those frequencies and it'll repeat it across to the other frequency. 
but again, it's VHF to uh, UHF and UHF to VHF. You can't do VHF to VHF or UHF to UHF unless you're using DMR. That's the only time that it actually works because it's using different time slots, so it's able to use that on-off, on-off switch in the digital processing for the DMR signal. 220 should work. I don't have a 220 antenna attached to try it out. Unfortunately, I don't have a 220 antenna on this radio. But 220, you should be able to do that. But it may not work, depending on if it's using the VHF circuitry or not. I know UHF to VHF works. You may be able to do UHF to 220 and 220 to UHF, but it may not work the other way. So VHF to... 220 and 220 to VHF.